y'all it's katie welcome back to my animal crossing new horizons channel today we are doing a really cool winter countryside island tour it's the island of barkanos and as always i will make sure to list everything about the island in the description box below from any design codes i could find to the creator's instagram and information as well the dream address all that good stuff so with that said let's go ahead and get started in this tour if you guys are new here first and foremost welcome i hope you enjoy this video and if you like animal crossing as much as i do make sure to subscribe to my channel it would mean so much to me and let's take a look at this flag oh my goodness. Okay, so the island, like I said, is called Barkanos, so I can only assume that that is the island creator's dog, or maybe a dog she loves. And then look at this map. Okay, so we have several residents here. We have Mel, Jameson, and Shop, so I'm guessing that's like a winter-themed shop. And then for villagers, we have Chevre, Philbert, Judy, Dom, Diana, Sherb, Eric, Raymond, Mary and Bones. Okay, I'm really excited to tour around. I love the neighborhood in the back right corner and then how she has three different homes. That's that's super exciting. Okay, and the dream address is on the screen if you want to go ahead and tour along with me. But let's get started. Like I said, this is a winter countryside themed island. So, oh, these flashing lights. Oh, it just makes me so excited. Okay, so we have the option to go right or left. Um, let's look at this Christmas tree farm first, because this sign definitely caught my eye. How pretty is this? This is my favorite current, um, I guess, island area that a lot of people are putting on their islands. This one's so well done, though. And I love the stunted trees, and then there's also the other cypress plants. Oh, it's so pretty! Okay, so I see the Christmas tree farm, I love that. Let's go now the opposite direction. I wanna see her shopping district because I'm assuming that's what this is over here. Oh, there's someone. Hello, who are you? Hi, check out our vineyard. Oh, oh, this is my kind of island. I've been talking about wanting to build a vineyard on my island as well, but I have a wine tasting room in my house, so I'm definitely gonna love that. Oh, and the little nook's cranny and all the toys outside. That's so perfect for this time of year. Oh, and what a cozy little Able Sisters, too. Oh, that's all so sweet. Um, let's go. Let's go up this way. And of course, the red and white flowers on a very winter-themed island is so perfect. <gasps> a wishing well. Get out. Oh my gosh, how cute. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Even though this is a dream address and if you didn't know, you can't actually take items with you if you can pick them up. I still kind of feel guilty, so I'm gonna drop those there. <laughs> and let's go back. There was some area in front of the shop that we didn't see, so I wanna make sure that we do see as much as we possibly can. <gasps> oh, and I'm so happy we did. Look at this dog park oh my gosh this item is new and uh th these little puppies are just like the cutest cutest little item i am so obsessed yep this is me just in my element <laughs> how cute i love the idea of a dog park now let's see What's on her beach? Oh. <gasps> oh my gosh, how cute is this? It's like a tiki bar, but it's still like ice and winter themed. That is really cute. Also, those lamps on top of these ice pillars look so nice. I don't even know if you, I knew you could put stuff up there. That's great. And a cute little campsite where you can maybe come and have some dinner, lunch. Hang out, read a book. And I love this quaint little seating area too. Oh, there's a house. Oh, this must be one of the shops. I'm guessing this is the house that just said shop on it maybe? Let's see. Oh, it's just like a Christmas cabin. 
Yeah, this is so precious. So it's like a little shop where you can get toys, maybe memorabilia, some Christmas clothing. Oh my gosh, and the mom's tea cozy in that design. It looks so good. Yeah, it's just like a cute little winter themed gift shop. Oh, I love that. And all the clocks on the wall to represent like different time zones. That's so smart. Oh my gosh, and the wrapping paper on the stool. That's such a sweet little detail. Oh my gosh, how cute. Okay, so if that's one of the houses out of three, I think we have some really exciting things to see ahead of us. <laughs> and let's go, I guess we'll go this way. Hi, sweet Judy. She is just too cute. I like how all of her villagers on this island are very like winter, ooh, campsite, are like wintry and cozy. Can I get that way? Okay, we'll, we'll find how, how to get to the campsite in a second. Over here, it looks like a nice little apple orchard. Oh, and a rock garden. Hello. Hello. <laughs> the pinwheel on this mush stool is adorable. Wow, that's so nice. <gasps> oh, yeah. And then this is the vineyard. Oh my gosh. And the vineyard sign and everything. <gasps> oh, this is so cute and so well done. So she has the purple mums, purple hyacinths, and then the grape hat. And that all makes it look like either different types of grape or, you know, really just kind of breaks it up. And then the simple panels with the barrels in the back. Oh yeah, this is so, so well done. So then this is the other home, which, <gasps> is this like a wine tasting room? Cause I have one of those in my house. And if it is, I'm gonna just, I just should move on this island <laughs> quite frankly. <laughs> Yep. How freaking cute is this? So of course you have the barrels and the wine on the simple panels, but then a little area where you can check out or maybe, you know, whoever owns the vineyard can give you a little tasting how to or talk about the different kind of wines that are there. Oh my gosh, this is so good. That is incredible. I feel at home. <laughs> I'll say that much. <laughs> yeah, that's amazing. So there's a staircase up here and I'm guessing that this is going to take us. Also, just look at this view of the vineyard right here. That's so pretty. Um, I'm guessing this is gonna take us to the campsite. Just this cute little walkway. Oh my gosh, hello. Visit Santa's cabin. Oh, that must have been the other one. How cute. So it was Santa's cabin. This is a cute and so well done campsite with the waterscaping too. Look at this cute little candy cane QR code and the holly. Oh, it's so cozy and Christmassy. And this is a little gift wrapping station. I love the giant bears. It's the Papa Bear, right? Is it the big one? I'm obsessed. And then an area to get some firewood. Which is so smart to have that close to her campsite. All right, now let's go to the back side of the island. And just because I want to, we're gonna go look at the vineyard again. <laughs> because <laughs> I'm way too obsessed with it. And the snow, like the, this version of the path. I don't know if it's technically considered snow or ice, but regardless, it's so pretty. And we'll go up this way. I love this area. I really, really, really think it's so well done. Oh, and now we have a little hiking trail. Love a good tunnel, a little fake tunnel. So if we go back this way, oh, she has like a little duck pond over here. Oh, look down there. It's like a pirate's cove. That's really cool. So I'm guessing her secret beach is on this side maybe? Yep, I think this is it. Cute. 
I love how cozy and tucked back it is. And the contrast with the pirates and then all of like the winter wonderland aspects of this island is really cute. And, oh, what's this? So this is a dream address tour, but we were given a ladder and then this cute little ice wand. I should hold it, which I think is so sweet. North Pole. Oh boy. What's this? Oh, another ladder. So this is for people like me that never know exactly where to use ladders. This is just a good indicator. Or maybe if you didn't pick it up in the beginning. Oh my gosh, it's the North Pole right here. That's the pole. And Santa. This is so cute. Oh, the sign's kind of in the way, huh? There we go. Now I need to get out of the way. Where? No. I am not the best. You know what? I'll just have to be in this one. I am not the best, like, Animal Crossing Island photographer by any means. I'm trying to get better. But, like, this area is so adorable. And she could repurpose this little cove area for so many different seasonal things. That's so cute. That is so, so cute. Okay, we're gonna try and redo this with me out of the way. I love it. And the co color coordinated flowers too. It's just like icing on the cake. Now, if we go this way, oh. It wants us to go back here. Oh, and this must be her house. Okay, before we go in her home, I wanna see what that bridge was up here. It might just be like a little seating area. Yeah, I think that's what it is. But it's, this is so pretty. Like this, let me see if I can get the reindeer. Yeah, this is such a pretty, just little shot. I love that. And then across here, I'm so excited for my trees to have lights on them. I think, I think that only happens mid-December, like starting maybe next week, um, through the end of the year, maybe? But I'm excited for them to happen on my island. Okay, let's go check out her house. First off, so cute. This Christmas wreath looks so nice on the exterior of this home. Fits the island aesthetic just perfectly and just the coziest living room to start. Oh my gosh, there's the picture of the dog. Sorry, I don't wanna make anyone dizzy. There's the picture of the dog and then a picture of Philbert. I wonder if Philbert is her favorite villager. Oh my gosh, this kitchen. I love this. I still don't have that mixer, but whenever it's going and I do island tours and it's in the kitchen, it makes me so excited, especially this one, how it has the cake and the cutting board and the sweet little dropped ornament makes it feel like, you know, maybe some Christmas cookies are being made. I don't know. This is a really well done kitchen though. You know, it's not overdone by any means, but you can clearly get a sense of, you know, all the baking that's happening. How cute. And now let's go to the room on the right. Ooh, it's just like a really cozy spa. <gasps> I feel like any kind of bathroom that has the cloud flooring, it automatically just calms me down. It's like someone just put a whole bunch of serotonin into my body <laughs> and just makes me feel so at peace and so happy. This is a really pretty bathroom spa area. And the candles with those floor lights. Yeah, this is so well done. Now we shall go to this left room. What is this going to be? Maybe an office? Oh, it's just like a nice little seating area. Oh, and there goes the dog. I feel like it's every, <laughs> every 
<laughs> island toward this point. The dog has to chime in with his opinion, so we're just gonna pretend that this is my dog's favorite room. <laughs> he is out of control. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. I'm really excited for cherry blossom season too, because whenever I got my Switch, um, I got it later than, you know, a lot of people who have had this game since it came out. I didn't get my Switch until like June, maybe it was even July. So um, I didn't really, I didn't get to experience the cherry blossoms and I'm really, really looking forward to that. Oh, bedroom. Oh my gosh, how cute. Oh, I didn't know you could customize the bulletin board like that. How it has the picture of the dog. And a little picture of Maple. This is such a well done bedroom. It really feels like it's capturing the personality of whose room this is. Oh my gosh, the little baby Christmas tree on the table too. Stop. This is just so cute. And the ring! Oh, so beautiful. I love this bedroom. Now let's see what's in the basement. I'm so curious. Maybe like, I don't know, like a toy shop or... No, there was already a toy shop. What could this be? Whoa, it's a movie room! Whoa, so smart. And the snacks too here in the background. This is so smart. Those simple panels too really makes it feel like you're sitting in a the theater. Yeah, this is definitely the best like home theater I've seen. And this carpet, does this not look just like a movie theater's carpet? Oh my gosh, how freaking cute. This is so smart. I'm loving this room. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> I'm obsessed with it. That's so good. All right, and that was the house, and that was an incredible house too. Definitely have some new ideas for my own. Judy again, are you just following us, baby girl? What's going on? Are you okay? What's over here? Oh, this is just like a little pretty like waterfall area. I mean, it's very simple, but like so pretty. And okay, this must be her neighborhood. So we have all her villager houses. Oh my gosh, and they all have alternating wreaths too. Cute. That's so cute. Ugh, I'm always so conflicted. As you guys know, I used to have a neighborhood I am now in the process of giving each villager like their own kind of dedicated space on my island to really fill it out. But then I see a neighborhood again and I'm like, nope, go back to the way it was. I really like it. Well, hello. Oh, we already talked to you. Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. So cute. Oh, look at that pretty little area with the rocks back there. That must be like where maybe some stargazing happens. Also, I would this bamboo bench is such like a nice little surprise. I think it matches so well, but I was not expecting something like that too. It looks great. Yeah, I do love a good neighborhood. Just like how clean it looks too. Oh wait, I'm going the wrong way. Like it just looks so nice. Oh, this must be Eric's house. I love the way that his house looks on Winter Islands, like a cabin. Mary, she's really cute. I totally understand the hype. I think she's so adorable. And another little just quaint reading nook over here with the kid's tent. I love it. And this little heart. Oh, this is so sweet, how she made the path. Um, not the cobblestone, I can't remember exactly which one that's called. But it looks so good. Oh, and a post office right here, which of course, I feel like any 
like winter or Christmas themed island has to have a post office. This is a really good, I feel like I'm saying this every single part of her island, but look at how nice this is. Like with the stunted trees, it's very simple, but it still gets the job done. You know exactly what you're looking at. That is a really great post office. And let me just say like, oh, this is her museum. If you ever feel like you're lacking inspiration on what to do on your island, do some dream address tours, even if they're random ones, because I, every single time I see a new island, no matter what the theme is or the aesthetic, I always come away with ideas and inspiration of things to do on my own. Look at this little infographic. Oh, cute. And little baby fossil right there. I just love it. Now this is precious too. Little fortune cookie cart and the menu. I love that, that's so cute. Ooh, a cafe! Whoa, and these, this is a massive rock. So, okay, in my last speed build, I decorated on a rock as well and made it into like a fishing dock. But if you have a large rock like this, putting something like a cafe is so adorable. Like, how smart is that? Because all you need is just, you know, one table and one set of chairs. That's all you need. That's so, so smart. And then over here, just a little reading area. And then, oh, is that her lighthouse? Yeah, look at that. <gasps> Whoa, that looks so, so cool, just from like the slightest distance. And we are back to her little tree farm. Is that it? Have we seen everything? I always feel like we're missing areas. Oh yeah, like this little beach area over here. And I like how her beaches aren't like too overly decorated. Oh, this must be like a romantic spot because of the little hearts that are drawn in the sand. And then there's this other heart right here. This is so pretty. Yeah, this is sweet and romantic, and the candles make it so pretty, too. Well, you guys, I do think we have seen just about all of this island, which is so crazy to me. This was so much fun. I'm feeling that holiday cheer in my heart, and I thought it was such a really beautiful way to combine the seasonal aspects of the game, like the holiday trees and, you know, having a Christmas tree farm and all that, but still being, like, really rustic and countryside and just flawlessly implementing the vineyard into it. Anyway, I'm rambling, but I had absolutely so much fun. Thanks you guys so much for joining me on this island tour of Barkinos. All of the information about the island creator, the dream address, all the codes, all that good stuff is gonna be in the description box below. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like it, comment down below on a tour you'd like for me to do next, and subscribe to my channel. It would mean so much to me to have you guys join along this Animal Crossing journey with me. With that said, I hope you guys are having a wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.